Hello friends and welcome to a new episode of Pack Hunting Diecast in Europe. And we're here in a store called Euroshop in Belgium. And I think you guys understand that this is before the cough, you know what. Mm. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, I put a link in the description and check this out. I found a fresh e-case over here. I think a uh, G-case is available now. I'm not sure because it's going so fast lately. Let's check out what we've got over here. And uh, I really miss this uh, diecast hunt, you know, when you're walking into a store and you get this feeling, this voice in your head, what I'm going to find, am I finding new Hot Wheels, am I the first, are the castings that I'm looking for still there, is there a super treasure hunt, is there an ID chase, yeah, I really miss that feeling. But um, <laughs> watching those videos, my own videos, is giving a little bit of that feeling. Dopamine. Ah, oh, by the way, if you hear any car sounds, um, I'm having a big home improvement and it was very noisy at home. So I thought, let's do a voiceover in my car on, the way, on my way to work. Ah, uh, this is a nice one, the Mustang, art car, super nice. Uh, let's see what do we got more, ooh, one of my favorites. <laughs> and I believe the the castings that I bought here are still in my car. This was actually the last fresh case of Hot Wheels that I found. And then afterwards the store, uh, all the stores are closed. Well, not all, the, not all the stores. The supermarkets are still open. Um, but the supermarkets in the Netherlands, they don't sell any toys. And I live in the Netherlands, but close to the border of Belgium. So most of the time uh, I was going to hunt for diecast in Belgium. Because they have some pretty good stores. But it is not possible for me anymore to cross the border. So... I have to hunt here in the Netherlands now I have a local toy store and it's still open but it's not ordering any new stuff because there are no people to buy anything so that is uh, a little bit of a problem and I think this store um, from this video the Euro shop in Belgium is also closed and I think when it's open again they still have the old stock and I think that's the case with a lot of stores because they're not selling anything and are they going to order new stuff I don't know because they have to pay rent and they have to pay the staff and they have a lot of other costs but there's not uh, coming any money so I'm a little bit worried about that because it's also possible when the when this is all over that the store isn't there anymore. That's also possible. I hope not, but we will see. We have to wait. And do I have enough videos for the future? And the answer is yes, I do. Because I had a feeling that this was coming. Uh, my girlfriend, she had an event in Germany and the event was cancelled because of the virus. And I was like, yeah, okay, your event is cancelled, but we are still going to Germany because dude has a job to do. You have to make diecast hunting videos. And then I thought, I think it's going to be a lot worse than it is now. And we now know that is true because all the stores are closed, so... I kind of accelerate and I made a lot of hunting videos. So for the next couple of months, don't worry, I will upload a lot of videos. Um, I think Friday I'm going to post or the second part of the best diecast car store in the world. 
or uh, a video I did in Germany uh, about a store called Müller. Hey, the manga tuner. Look, if you're watching, I still got two manga tuners for you and when this all over, when the borders are open, I'm going to send it to you. And maybe you already found a, a manga casting, I'm not sure, but I still have them for you. Don't worry. A lot of cool castings in this uh, e-case. So, like I was saying, I have enough videos coming, don't worry. Um, I also send a couple of emails to diecast stores here in the Netherlands with the question if it is possible for me to make a video in that store and first I thought well I will not get any reply but to my surprise I get a lot of positive uh, reactions and video technically it is very nice because there are no people just me my camera and the diecast so that's going to be pretty awesome I also did a video about the biggest diecast car store in the world. Hey, the Ataxi. <laughs> I still have to laugh that I missed the ID Chase in France. <laughs> when I uploaded the video, it's on my channel. And it's from a store called uh, Cora. And i getting uh, a couple of comments where people saying, Hey, you missed an ID chase. And first I thought, no, that's not possible. But then I look a little bit better and I saw, Jesus, why? <laughs> uh, I missed an ID chase. So <laughs> as soon as possible, I'm going back to France and see if this ID chase is still there. And if you're living in France, in the north of France, go to the Cora and check if this ID if the ID chase is still there. I'm going to France anyway because I'm hunting for the new Marietta. Yeah, 2020 is a very good year for Marietta. They have a lot of new uh, premium castings. The Alfa Romeo, uh, Nissan GTR, Nismo. Uh, the Kia, ah, this is very nice five pack. One of my favorite five packs from Matchbox from 2019, the Autobahn Express with the Rambo Lambo. Ah, this is also cool casting. So yes, and also Marietta uh, is coming with a new uh, vintage deluxe series with a white Porsche uh, Vi Vailant, Valiant. Got a lot of the same five packs. <laughs> I'll bet these ones are still here when the store is open again. What do we got more? We got a fun park. And yeah, we got a car meet. It's also a very nice five pack, five cool cars. I'm still looking for the new Fast and the Furious. Still haven't found it. And uh, the Batman is also pretty nice. Mm, I was talking about the Myret. So yes, I'm on the hunt for the Myret, but it's going to take a while because I have to find them in uh, in Belgium, but the border is closed. In France, but the border is closed. Or in Germany, but the border is closed. So I have to wait till the border is open, the stores are open, and everything is uh, safe, of course. That's also very important. Uh, we have the Spider-Man set. This van is pretty cool, but I'm not a fan of these uh, sets with Spider-Man or Disney figures. That is not my thing, but this van is pretty cool. What do you got over here? We got some Hot Wheels trucks. Mm, I'm going to buy a, a new truck from Greenlight and I'm going to do a review about it. Oh, these monster trucks. When I first saw them, I was like, no, but every time I see them, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. And now I'm like, ah, oh, I want to buy one because I think they're pretty awesome. I start to appreciate uh, them. The more I see them, the more I like them. Yeah, look at the pictures, the tempo, very nice. 
and also the names of grave digger uh <laughs> super cool <laughs> so I'm definitely going to buy one, but uh, we we'll wait a little longer here are the big ones still, I think the ones from Greenlight are the best monster trucks. Correct me if I'm wrong. We got some stun devils over here. Ah oh, man, I miss those diecast hunts. <laughs> but I'm gonna get a little bit of this feeling back when I'm watching this video. And I hope you guys have the same thing. What do we got over here? Halo. I'm not into uh, computer games. So I'm not interested in that set, but hey, the motors. I did uh, in store hunting videos and I found those motors from a while ago from a, from a store also in Belgium which is also unfortunately closed Bowser Super Mario set let's see what we got here hey Peach is over here let's put her back and we got uh, Wario that Mario's enemy I'm not sure let's see what we got here ah we got some CQ castings and I'm also on the hunt for some new uh, CQ castings 187 skill because that's my favorite casting uh, that's my favorite skill of CQ this one is also very beautiful still thinking about that uh, truck with the construction machine Mm, but I'm also looking for a tractor 187 skill in combination with a trailer but there is a store in the Netherlands and I did a video about that store and I'm going to call them and as soon as they have the new uh, CQ collection I'm going to that store to make a video hey the catalog of 2019 and there's also uh, a car casting from CQ that I'm still looking for but I think CQ is releasing that in June. Not sure. And look at this fountain of destruction. It is packed with Hot Wheels all the way to the top. Which means when the store is open again. Hey, check this. Ah, oh, beautiful casting. Yeah, let's take it out. When the store is open again, this fountain of destruction is still full with these Hot Wheels castings and the problem is these stores have to pay rent they have to pay the staff lots of other costs but they don't sell anything so <laughs> I'm afraid when the store is open again they are not going to buy any new Hot Wheels they are not going to order any new Hot Wheels. We have a couple of CQ castings over here. This Porsche is very cool. Ooh, yes, this one. The ambulance. I like that one. And the Gumpert. Pretty nice. Hey, taxi, you're still there. Another Porsche casting. Yes, I already have this Porsche casting and I did a review about it. You can look it up on my YouTube channel. And of course, guys, I want to say I hope you are all safe and healthy and you're all doing fine because these are difficult times. The metal tour bus, very cool. I also did a review about that one and the Unimog. Definitely going to buy some more CQ castings and doing a review about it. Don't worry guys, don't worry. Ah, this one is also pretty cool. I have to buy that one too. 
a 187 casting we have some more over here but I already did a couple of reviews about about all those castings but guys like I said stay healthy stay safe don't forget to like and subscribe check my Instagram and don't worry a lot of more videos are coming and I hope that I can go back to this store pretty soon but for now we have to stay inside and we have to do it with these videos alright guys see you later bye